many teachers don't get a chance to see lots of other teachers teach and so they can tend to think the way the way I structure a room and what my rules are and what my expectations are are just the way teachers do it and having having spent many years as a staff developer one of the things that I learned relatively early on is every teacher is a little bit different every teacher's interpretation of their rules is a little bit different and so the metaphor that I use is that the strike zone in baseball is an imaginary rectangle that exists in space and basically this rectangle allows us to play the sport of ba baseball so the pitcher knows I need to try to get it into that zone fast enough that the batter will miss it or with enough of a curveball or slider or something else that will trick it up that the batter will miss it but I need to get it in that zone because the umpire is going to use that rectangle as a vehicle for if the batter missed it they're gonna call it a ball or a strike well to play that sport we all have to have some agreement on what that strike zone is and my contention is that any teachers classroom rules are in fact an imaginary rectangle that exists in space that's like the strike zone and they need to teach that now one way they can teach it if it's a simple rule is they can teach it like in the rules of baseball you might go okay it's the width of home plate and the it's the where the letters of the, the jersey are and it's the top of the kneecap. But you can also teach it in background and direct instruction. You can also teach it with examples and not examples so that you can go, this is a strike, this is a ball. This is a strike, this is a ball. This is a strike, this is a ball. And you can teach the parameters of that imaginary concept. If I think of my rules about an imaginary concept and I think about good direct instruction, one of the things that Engelman taught, Anita Archer, myself, and many of the other players, is we learn that you teach a concept with good, clear examples and not examples. And the best examples that you use to teach the con concept are examples and not examples juxtaposed that are very close to each other. In other words, if I teach, if you'll imagine the home plate is here, and I teach, this is a strike, excuse me, this is a strike, and I go right at the center of the strike zone, and this is a ball, and I show one that's five feet outside the strike zone, that does nothing to teach where the line is. This is a strike, this is a ball, teaches a lot, because it says that line is right here. Teachers need to do that with their rules. They need to recognize, I could have a rule that says, uh, arrive on time with all your materials, that might be the same rule that the teacher had last year, but my materials may be different. So I'm gonna have to teach exactly what I mean by that rule, what rules, excuse me, what materials do you have to have to meet that rule? Not having this material would be violating that rule, and here would be the small instructional cost that would happen, the minor consequence that would happen if you don't have those materials. Okay. I love that.